As a casual fan of shooters, the Nintendo Switch has really been a blessing for me. This little console is home to some absolute classics, both new and old. Since falling in love with these style of games thanks to when the Psycho Shooters first started appearing, there's always been one franchise I really wanted to sample. Cotton, a series of cute em ups starring a flying witch. Maybe it's because I'm a massive fan of Kiki's delivery service, but I always wanted to play this series. Well, anyways, all of a sudden, my wish has come true. And this is less like Kiki's delivery service and more like... Cotton blow shit up. Now firstly, Cotton Reboot is not really a reboot, that would imply something new and fresh. But actually this game contains the original game and a remake of said game, specifically based on the X68000 or however that's pronounced, I've never heard anybody say it before. So yeah, not the arcade original but a port of it which included more stuff. And we all like more stuff. So there's two versions here, firstly the classic mode, the X68000 version, featuring the original artwork and gameplay style. It really is a classic. You have an auto fire shoot button alongside magic, which is kind of like your power bomb. There are different kinds of magic, some seemingly a bit more useful than others. Over seven stages, waves of enemies fly at you, and the first thing I enjoyed Cotton for was the enemy variety. There's a staggering amount of enemy types here, all instantly recognizable, learnable, and fun to deal with. They do get repeated in stages, but still, the variety they throw at you is very very commendable indeed. There's probably more enemies flying at you than there are actual bullets. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration though. This game isn't bullet hell, but it gets close at times. The level design is great. You'll be going forwards, up and down shafts, and even occasionally going backwards, which is a bit of a pain in the ass because you can't actually shoot backwards. I really like that there's no environmental damage. You can happily touch the floor, the rocks, barriers, walkways without losing a life, unless you get squashed and made into a cotton sandwich. Mm. Environmental collisions is always one of my least favorite things in shooters, so I'm happy to see that it's not actually here. I like the classic mode quite a lot. It's a modest game, fairly slow paced and well executed in terms of its balance. This is a game that is doable with one credit, even if you're not particularly great at shooters like myself. I think after a little bit of practice and memorization, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle on the standard difficulty. I think this mode I could easily pick up and play anytime just as I can with my personal favorites like Blazing Star and Gunbird. Then we have the arranged mode. This is a full on remake, but then dialed up to 11. It's almost a culture shock having played the classic first. Firstly is the makeover, which I'll get to in a little bit. The level design is pretty much one-to-one, -one, but it also plays so differently despite sharing the core gameplay. It feels so much faster. Your power-ups are even bigger, so over the top you'll be mowing down enemies before many of them even appear on the screen. The playfield is filled to the brim with crystals, which, like the original, are bonus points, but seemingly change your attack, splitting your beams into two, forking them out. In many ways, it feels much easier than the original due to being overpowered all of the time. Although the final two bosses really do bring you back down to earth. They tell you to sit down, son. They got a major boost in terms of ass kicking. It is a lot of fun though. You can almost turn your brain off at this one. Just enjoy what's going on. The gimmick of shooting crystals until they turn a different color, making for higher points, once again is taken to a whole new level on this one. It's not annoying like I felt like Twin B always was. You're kind of juggling, but it's less stressful. Overall though, both versions are great little shooters in their own respect. Very similar, but also very different. I really enjoy playing both of them. They're modest, the gimmicks are not so full on, they're just enjoyable times. In terms of audio, really nice. I can't say I heard much of it all over cotton raining terror upon monsters, but what I did catch in my ear was nice enough, nice and energetic. The visuals, the original game, with all due respect, is a little bit drab, if I'm being honest. I'm not a fan of the color choices. Aside from one level, nothing really pops from the screen despite the designs being very nice. The remake is properly full on though, I really like it. I like the pre-rendered backgrounds, very nostalgic in the right way. It's colorful, Cotton herself looks great. It can be a little bit too much at times though, usually there's so much in your face that's going on. It's very easy to take a bullet that you hadn't noticed, but that's a minor complaint. The game runs smoothly, by the way. Now, I just want to state that I'm playing the version from the Hong Kong eShop that was provided to me by the publisher. Now, as you may see, it's not completely in English, unlike the upcoming Western release, but really, language is pretty unessential here. Only the main menu is lacking in English. The rest of the sub-menus, like the options, the pause screen, they're in English. The only thing you're missing out on is the story, which is completely unessential for this shooter. In terms of pricing, well, I don't know what the Western price is going to be, but right now, 
in Japan is 4,980 yen, which is 33 pounds and 45 US dollars. And on the Hong Kong eShop, it's almost 300 Hong Kong dollars, which is nice because Play Asia only stock 300 Hong Kong dollar cards. Perfect. Uh, links are below for that, by the way. And that is about 28 pounds or 38 dollars. So it is a little bit cheaper on there. Personally, I think it's a little bit too much, just a little bit, you know? In comparison to what else is found on the eShop, I mean, when you got the likes of Blazing Star or Tengai for like a quarter of the price, it doesn't look like great value. Of course, work has gone into the arranged mode, which is commendable and should be considered, but still, I would like to see it a little bit cheaper. Unless you're a big fan of shmups, casual fans may want to wait for a sale or have the physical version to actually own something tangible. Now, physically, this is going to be available in the West thanks to in-in games and Strictly Limited. As to when, I have no idea. You can still purchase the standard release and collector's edition on their website for pre-order. Uh, I asked a guy from Strictly Limited on ETA, but they weren't so clear on that. It's, it's kind of like Q2 this year sometime. And of course, there's delays as always with Strictly Limited. It's like a law. There may be a standard retail release later down the line too, but it is available in Japan right now and in Asia. Now, previously, I did state that the Japanese version does not have English. Well, actually, this is somewhat untrue and somewhat true because originally the Japanese version does have English until you update the game. Yes, if you download the update, it takes English out of the game. Of course, ridiculous. Uh, the Hong Kong download version I'm playing does not have English either, despite the screenshots on the eShop showing it. Apparently that's a mistake and will be fixed by now or a little bit later. The Southeast Asian version for like Singapore and such, that physically supposedly does have English. So if you don't want to wait for Strictly Limited, then this may be the way to go to get it physically. If you want to purchase that, then I put links down below in the description and the pinned comment as to where you can get that for yourself. If you use those links, then it also supports the Switch Watch team out massively at the same time. Thank you guys ever so much for your amazing support as always. It really means a lot to us. It helps us keep going. Honestly, so much. And in return, you can get a very nice 5% off your order of any physical item from Play Asia. in fact, if you use the coupon code SWITCHWATCHTV while checking out. That's all one word, SWITCHWATCHTV while checking out for 5% off any physical item from Play Asia. Overall, Cotton is a nice little shooter. I guess two shooters, actually. Its price is a little on the heavy side, at least for where it's released right now. But sometimes for niche shooters like this, you often have to pay a premium. If you want fun, side-scrolling charm with decent design, then this could be one for you. It does have a lot going for it. Each run will take about half an hour or so, which is actually on the lengthy side for an arcade shooter. So there's plenty to learn and to master in order to get the highest score possible. Shmup fans, well, you will need this. You probably already bought it, right? However, if you're a casual fan, you may want to hold off for a little bit. Wait until the price dips a little bit lower or go for the physical version. For me, as an arcade shooter, I've got to give Cotton Reboot an 8 out of 10. All right, thanks very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, you are a legend of the highest order. The longer you watch, the more YouTube likes us, shares our videos and so on like that. So if you watched all the way here, you've watched me right now, then thank you ever so much. And I want to know who you are. So in the comments below, be sure to leave a... Well, it's, it's cotton. Leave a little broomstick emoji in the comments so I know who you are. Thank you ever so much. And thanks to our executive producers, Punky Doostar, Elisa Ganicus, God of Resin, Boombox, Alolan Jojo, Jonathan Rumor, Dane Wilkinson, J. Cross 7776 Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Cato, Brent McLean, and all the others who have joined our memberships. Thank you for your support. Please be sure to check out some of our other videos. We've got a lot to offer you guys. Every Monday, I show you all the physical releases. Every Sunday, James tells you all the bargains. And we've also got a smattering of reviews for you to check out. We'll see you guys over there. Have a great day.